In this video, we're going to review recommended service procedures for a celebrity restroom pod and Pro 600 restroom pod. This process includes dating, restocking, pumping, priming, and wiping. Please note, this service should always be performed in proper PPE, including rubber gloves and safety glasses. To begin, it's important that we confirm that we were on site. This proof comes by signing the date sticker. In fact, this step is so important that we've included it first on the list because without this simple signature, there's a good chance the customer will call back and request we return to reservice the unit. With the date sticker signed, we'll then want to proceed with restocking the supplies as needed. A simple two-roll toilet paper dispenser must have a minimum of 1.5 rolls. With each service, we should inspect the soap dispenser and refill as needed. Lastly, we'll want to inspect the inside of the unit for any garbage or debris that may be lying on the floor or countertops. Please do your best to remove any trash and dispose of it in a nearby dumpster if available. This also includes the content of the wastebasket located inside the restroom stall. Once we've confirmed we were on site and restocked the supplies, it's time to begin the cleaning process. First, we'll head to the back side of the pod and locate the service compartments. For a celebrity trailer, we'll unlock and open the two doors for both the wastewater and freshwater tanks. To help tell the two apart, the horizontal door provides access to the waste and the vertical door provides access to the freshwater. With the doors open, remove the waste tank and water tank caps. We'll now head back to our truck and activate our PTO powered suction hose and proceed to pump out any waste within the holding tank. To do this properly, we need to angle our wand so it's able to pump any waste debris that may be inside the tank. If the tank is noticeably short on liquids, we may need to use our hose to rinse free any debris that may have mounted from a lack of water. It's important that we do our best to pump as much waste as possible from the holding tank to avoid any unwanted odors in the future. For a Pro 600 pod, this process is quite different. To pump this type of unit, you'll need to connect your waste hose to the pump out valve located on the rear of the pod. Once you've locked your hose to the valve, you can go ahead and open the valve. We'll then head back to the truck to activate our PTO powered suction hose. It's important to note that we never open or close the waste valve while the hose is pressurized. In doing so, this can cause damage to the valve and could cause further leaks from the waste tank. While the waste tank is being pumped dry, it's encouraged that you take your freshwater hose into the pod and squirt water directly into the tank. By doing so, you'll be able to make sure any stubborn waste is pumped dry. Failing to do this can create mounds of dried waste which can quickly create terrible odors for the customer. We'll then proceed to fill the freshwater tank until it's full. Pay special attention to the water as it fills to prevent any overfilling which can cause damage to the unit. Once the waste tank has been fully pumped dry, we will slowly disconnect our hose with the PTO still activated and our valve open. Once we've confirmed the waste tank is empty, we can now close the wastewater valve and deactivate our PTO. Remember to look down the waste tank through the bulb. If there is buildup, use your wand to clear it out as much as possible directly through the toilet. Continue to repeat this process until the tank appears empty with no waste inside. Now that the tank is empty, we can check to see if our fresh water tank is full. Once confirmed, we'll then disconnect our water hose and replace the caps. Once the waste tank has been pumped, we'll need to prime the unit by adding 16 to 20 ounces of liquid blue. To add the blue to a celebrity pod, just pour the additive directly into the open waste tank located on the back of the unit. For a Pro 600 pod, we'll need to open the service door located on the rear of the unit. Once inside, we'll see a large 3-inch cap attached to the top of the stainless steel waste tank, which will allow us access directly to the waste tank. We'll then remove this cap and pour the blue directly into the tank. It's important that we always add the liquid blue from the back of the restrooms and not through the toilet as this can easily stain the toilet seat. Now that we've properly pumped and primed the unit, it's important that we clean the toilet bowl using the proper brush and cleaning solution. Once the toilet bowl has been properly cleaned, we'll then wipe down the countertops, toilet seat, and any other services with a wet towel, removing any dirt and debris as necessary. It's important to note that we should never spray the inside of the celebrity unit or Pro 600 pod with a fresh water hose or a cabana spray. 
This will severely damage the unit. We'll also want to remove the carpet on the floor if possible and shake it outside the facilities, removing any dust or dirt that may have accumulated. Congratulations, you officially learned how to properly service a celebrity and Pro 600 restroom pod.